I would take everything around here, the insights, I would turn it into a course for free. I would give it away. And every single person who is interested in lead gen agency, I promise you, I'm going to get them to start consuming. And then everybody is now going to start selling a, a coaching thing. Well, in order for us to compete with them, we need to give away their best thing for free. This is how you guys build a orthogonal pricing strategy that incumbents people at the top will never be able to compete with you all right i'm currently working on a build and release offer for everyone out there who's kind of like selling this uh biz op offer of starting a lead gen agency or to be honest it may also be a start a ai automation agency um what what will happen in the industry is the fact that as soon as everyone sees that the trend is to coach people and starting a lead gen agency um, the competition will go through the roof. And in case you guys haven't yet learned a lesson, because maybe you guys are still new in business, when the competition goes through the roof, you start making a lot less money. Why? Because, um, because people just have more choice. If there were only one car company in the world, then they would be worth, um, they would be worth almost like a trillion dollars, right? Or whatever the market cap of vehicles is in the in the world. But since there are, you know, multiple, multiple car companies in the world, each one is maybe going to be worth, you know, maybe a billion dollars or one will be worth 50 billion. Um, but, you know, um, because of competition. Right now, for me, the thing I want to talk about in this video is show you how if you were to if I was to compete with you right on the uh, consulting or biz opportunity side if i went into the industry of giving people business opportunities of selling business opportunities this is how i would sell it i would not sell it as coaching i would not sell it as coaching even though coaching is a lot more scalable what ends up happening is the easier it is to do because technically um, a biz of offer is just purely information and in case you have not noticed if someone was to buy your course they could technically start competing with you because they got now the information. The barrier of entry in that industry is so, so low, right? So that's why it's super important for you guys to get as much as you can away from lower barrier um, opportunities. The same way that you're teaching people a lead gen agency, which is a pretty low barrier of entry business opportunity, is the same way that you yourself um, are in a low barrier of entry business model, which is information business, right? So it's really scary to 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 kind of like expect that you're gonna make a hundred million doing what you're doing. You're not. Anyway, so uh, for me, this is how I sell our offers. Um, I like to look at the gap. So let's say someone is starting out here, they have the desire to make money, and then their desired outcome is here, right? And then my goal is to get them here as a lead gen, um, um, I guess legion, legion agency owner, right? Legion agency owner. This is like the outcome that I want to provide them. Um, for me, I'm not going to sell like, Hey, here's how you sell it. This is how you, no, no, no. I'm actually going to look at it this way. I'm going to look at, Hey, what are the things that bridge the gap for this client, uh, for this, uh, new customer? They'll need a good offer. They'll need legion. They'll need appointment setting. They'll need sales. They'll need fulfillment, right? They'll not only need all these things to know these things, but they will also potentially need people in each of these layers. And then they will also need systems for each of these layers. So now my offer goes from just purely coaching on this level to having more layers of, um, I guess, sophistication and of value, right? The build and release model, the when you're selling infrastructure, you're not selling information anymore. You're actually selling infrastructures. Now, an infrastructure is made of insight, talent, and systems and processes. Okay? So, this is how I would sell it, guys. I would go look at everything. Offer. How, what do we need to consult them? Okay, they need to, uh, we need to help them create their offer. They need to decide on who they're going after. They need to know what bridge they, they're going to gap. Uh, they need to choose the most profitable market segment. They need to choose uh, the right pricing. They need to choose the right guarantee right? Who's going to consult them on this? Maybe someone internally on our team, a growth consultant. And then systems. What systems do they need, right? Markets and desire insights, worksheets, all that good stuff, right? And then after that, 
you may need um, to consult them or build the lead gen infrastructure, right? First, they need to be educated on the insights, on the workflow, right? Then you need to pick the platform, then you need to pick the ad angle, you need to pick the creative, you need to pick the targeting, you need to pick the performance, right? The reason why here I picked ads is because lead gen, we have clients who are doing, who are running lead gen offers um, in the local businesses and ads are super, super duper cheap, right? So if I was you guys, I would probably push people to do uh, media uh, ad. And then uh, talent, well, do they need uh, a media buyer or is it simple enough for them to do it themselves? If you could have access or a pool of talent of media buyers, that would be even more better, right? Systems, well, they're going to need a lead magnet creation system, content frameworks, VSL frameworks. They're going to need a CRM. They're going to need lead notifications. They're probably going to need uh, some nurturing systems, right? Uh, appointment setting, well, they're going to need someone to do outbound to the leads in case they don't book in. They're going to need the right messaging. They're going to need the right workflow. They're going to need the right follow-up cadence. They're going to write the systems. They're going to need the KPIs. They're going to need the optimization insights. And they're also going to need... If you're enjoying this video, then I have something even more special for you. I just did my own case study breakdown of how I went from 30K a month to 600K a month. And I wanted to go a little bit more in depth into the offer creation process that I went through, as well as how I designed my sales process to be able to go from 30K, 100K, a quarter of a million, 500K in cash collected in a month with less than $2,000 on ad spend. Uh, and that requires a different type of sales process. And I went through it in the case study breakdown. So if you'd like to go a bit more in depth into the build and release offer, as well as how to structure your sales process, then opt in and um, I think you'll find it really valuable. So, but keep checking out your video, bye-bye. The people to do all this, so the setters. And then systems wise, outreach, dialing tracker, dialing system, speed to lead accountability, sales and educational content, uh, AKA sales assets. And then sales, well, they need to understand the sales process. They need to understand the sales script structure. They need to understand how to leverage closers. They need to understand KPIs. They need to understand how to manage reps. And then preferably they need a closer right? And then they need these systems. And fulfillment, they need to know how to onboard someone. They need to know how to consult them on their offer. They need to know how to um, how to select the right acquisition channel, right? A lot of lead gen agencies, I guess some of them are cold emails. Others are, um, I guess, paid ads, paid ads agencies, right? Uh, set up and launch process. They need the KPIs. They need to know how to manage and optimize the, the campaign. They need um, talent-wise to pull this off, have a really great um, fulfillment. You need probably a tech person. You need a systems integrator. You need a project manager and a sex or a success specialist. And systems-wise, you need an onboarding system. You need a performance tracking system, project management system, right? Now, when you have such an offer, guys, this is how you charge people 20, 25 grand or more for a biz up offer. And you also have a reason to retain them paying you month after month after month. Okay. So maybe your front end offer could be a free course on how to start a legion agency. Maybe you give away this layer here, right? And you monetize on this layer here, here, right? And this is how you build a multiple seven figures, maybe even eight figure business, right? While you're still running out of business, everybody out there who's selling a started Legion agency course, right? If I was to compete with you guys, right? I would take everything around here, the insights, I would turn it into a course for free, okay? I would give it away. And every single person who is interested in Legion Agency, I promise you, I'm going to get them to start consuming this, this free, this insight. And then once they're, they're like, hey, I have the offer. Okay, but I need some systems. Oh, but I have Legion going. Oh, but I need people. Okay, cool. Oh, I have appointment setting. Lead flow is too high. I need setters. Okay, no worries. We got you. Sales. Oh, hey, I have calls. I'm not closing. I need the right sales process and I need the, the right closer preferably. Oh, okay, no worries. We got you. Uh, fulfillment. Oh, I I'm, I'm need help with um, the right process, the right systems, tracker, project management tool, uh, the right talent. Oh, no worries. So by making this lower ticket, what, you're, what you turn into is you start, you drive a lot of your competition to be forced to, to not necessarily sell their thing as expensive as possible 
right? So what I mean by this is everybody is now going to start selling a, a coaching thing, right? Well, in order for us to compete with them, we need to give away their best thing for free or maybe start a subscription, right? Here's what I would do. Start a $49 a week to get started to access this course, okay? And then you can sell this here, the next product, your next product should be like $15,000, 10K to 15K, right? And then on the next product, maybe make it a 50K to 100K a year, right? Plus, 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 plus percentage, right? For us here, uh, we also get rev share of the businesses we create or the businesses we partner with and here we also get the same thing uh, like 20% of revenue right this is how you guys build a orthogonal pricing strategy that incumbents people at the top will never be able to compete with you I hope this was a great lesson to you guys uh, business is about strategic st strategic moves that put you on top so stop being a an average player don't be an average entrepreneur be a superstar and change the world your family depends on you bye-bye